advantage. One and a half miles to go. White flag is up at Charlotte. Jamie McMurray trying to pull off the upset. And Jerry Nagel was a class act that time. He got out of the way. Let McMurray and Bobby Labonte decide the thing among themselves. One final set of corners to go. No lap traffic to come into play. Labonte's going to have to make a desperate move here. He rides into the corner deep. Come on, the come on, come on. He'll do it. 26-year-old Jamie McMurray pulls off the victory in just his second NASCAR Winston Cup start. Unbelievable. I am shocked. Almost beyond words, <laughs> but not quite. The upset special of the year. Any sport, bar none. The congratulatory rub from the champion, Bobby Labonte. And look at this crew. You do me a favor, bud. Do the biggest damn burnout you've ever done, but don't jump on the roof, okay? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> well, man. If you're new to NASCAR, the roof of the car has to be a certain height over the ground. When they take it to post-race technical inspection, if the driver gets up there and jumps on the roof, that's their problem. White flag this time, man. No pressure. White flag. No pressure. The key words there with one and a half miles to go for Jamie McMurray. He started 27th while this battle for second continues. McMurray... This could be the biggest comeback from the worst starting position in the fall race ever here at Charlotte. What a job by this one team. Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah, you are clear. Congratulations, dude. Jamie McMurray's your winner, and Kyle holds off Jimmy for second place. Denny Hamlin comes home fourth. Greg Biffle in fifth. Then Matt Kenseth, Joey Logano, Kevin Harvick, David Ruderman, and David Reagan round out your top ten. Good stuff tonight. Good adjustment, guys. Great job. Great, great job. His third win of 2010. Oh, here comes Jim McMurray. <laughs> he wins the Daytona 500, the Brickyard 400, and now here in Charlotte. Let's send it down to Jamie Little with Jamie McMurray. Yeah, that's a lot of Jamie's. That's right, Jim McMurray. Remember back at the Daytona 500 when Jamie won? His dad had left early. He is here. White flag for Jamie McMurray out of Joplin, Missouri. Jeff Burton, four seconds back. He lacks two and a half from Ricky Stenhouse, the second place runner on this final lap. Then Paul Menard in fourth. Here's Truex Montoya and Al Marola with Quapple, Patrick, and Mears rounding out the top ten. Jamie McMurray wins the sprint showdown beating Ricky Stenhouse by 1.2 seconds. They will transfer to tonight's sprint all-star race. Jeff Burton, Paul Menard, Martin Truex, Montoya, and the rest will have to await their fate when the fan vote is announced. It couldn't have worked any better for McMurray and his team. They took two tires. They got the restart on the front row. They had a couple of cars that, didn't, that stayed out and didn't change tires. A little bit of a roadblock for them to get away, and nobody could catch them. Two tires to victory. That's the story for Jamie McMurray. Ricky Stenhouse in his first All-Star Weekend appearance transfers to the big show as it was last saturday night white flag for jamie mcmurray boy i tell you what he's got a whiff he's getting a little draft off that one car now he's gonna he's gonna be just like he was last saturday night he's gonna be oh so close yes. one more corner eight tenths of a second about 160 feet, it might as well be 160 miles. Jamie McMurray wins the Sprint All-Star Race. Oh, my. Wow. Kevin Harvick finishes seven-tenths of a second back. Matt Kenseth, one second off the lead.
in his eighth start. Yeah, that's a winning race, Steve. And you're in the all-star race for like 10 years. Yeah, great, great job on the road. Call the race. That was a really good team effort, guys. Awesome job. Chip, I'm glad you're here. McMurray's, they're talking about Chip Ganassi, McMurray's previous best in the All-Star race was eight. Think about last week at Kansas. He was very unhappy with his car. Cut down a right front tire, knocked the wall down, was very unhappy. Boy, does this change everything. That's part of the accolades. When you win the Sprint All-Star race, you're guaranteed a start for the next 10 years in it as a driver. 